still is, but still only partially. Maybe afraid of having a grenade rolled through and blowing out the jammer. I'm not quite sure, but I expect it would be on the other side, inside of the game room itself. Gonka, where's the headshot? Yes, um, no, not too sure about that one, buddy, but a good kill coming in for Yonka. Three versus three, they know where the man is. No way he wins that at range. Coated by another citizen. Staff is up and making himself heard. Here we go with another fight coming in. Coated going for the plan. It's on these two now to try and make the recovery happen. Citizen pushing his way forward as the other holds off to the second angle. One comes in. Woogie finds the kill onto Virtue, and Citizen's got it all to do in a one versus two against Coated and Woogie. We know that he's certainly capable of it, but... Virtue just missing his shots there on to Woogie Man who managed to beat him to the punch and find the kill. Citizen looking for the first of two that he's going to need. One is on red stairs. Citizen surely, no, just dips out of the way. Doesn't manage to get the kill. In come the flashbangs. That's going to force Citizen away and it's smart play from Dan Wonk here. Just using everything at their disposal. Takes out the air jab but with time ticking away. Seven seconds. He's got to do something here. It's very unlikely the challenge is going to come out and shut down by quartered. Citizen cannot close the round out. It's going to be Dan Wonkia taking number one with a good attack onto Aviator Sang. Sending the drone in. They know that Kayak is on those stairs. There's a second one moving across. So Dan Wonkia looking to pressure from underneath. It's actually Rin that's going to be supporting Kat Sang. And yes, Kayak has got a whole world of trouble coming his way if he's not careful. Manages to find one with the MX4. Storm cannot good find save. another as Kat Sang yeah, manages to get the trade. Virtue finds Woogie Man. Virtue finds Quarter. This is what we need from the Australian Gunner on the side of G2. 45 seconds left to go, but a near to the face is not going to help citizen to keep fighting it's the number one play because they want to try and get a plant inside a bar virtue daring them to come running in through this doorway it could be a freebie for him he's going to find it and that's the diffuser a triple kill for the aussie here. one versus one yonka got to make something happen i think or just hold back and wait let them be the ones who have to move fast one second i don't think he'll be there in time just about gets there rin has now got to challenge this angle he loses it out down one take around from the jaws of defeat when surely it looked like g2 had done enough or dining and kitchen it's certainly becoming a more used option now then Dan Wonky are going to look and clear the top floor there's vertical angles being held by G2 need to be careful here Coated he's going to be challenged from both angles Hungry Virtue G2 absolutely settling into this round Jonka will be downed but not out an opportunity to pick him up potentially Katsang looking for the angle onto anyone inside a site here, but they just can't find them. Woogie Man, he's still on that top floor clearance. There's one inside a bar. He gets shut down and finished off, and it's going to be one versus five. Kat Sang wow. is out of here, and that is a flawless round for G2. Information. They need to know exactly who is where inside of site. Now then, they nearly catch the vigil of Kayak dashing across the kitchen door there, but he will get away with it. He's looking for anybody trying to creep in through this breach that's been opened up. Katsang not having any joy from above yet. 13 seconds left to go and Dan Wonky I need to make this happen. Hungry, he manages to find Rin. Katsang will trade it out though. Three versus two, you gotta hit those shots. Kayak just missing and allowing the man in to try and put the diffuser down. Here comes the pressure, Citizen. It's gonna be shut down by Yattle for both of these teams as the shots start raining in. Virtue still downstairs. A little bit of a concern. 20 seconds left to go. He's not going to be able to have too much of an impact from there. He's already used his nitro. There is the potential that peak calls have been opened up in the floor. We'll see as the round develops. Rin manages to get a headshot onto Hungry. Clearing out the vault can take that power position. They need to think about getting the diffuser down. That's exactly what Kota does. The kills are raining in. There's Dan Wonkia just seems so organised on this attack. They know where everybody is. They've got G2's number. They get the diffuser down. Katsang finds the final kill onto Virtue as he tries to rotate back to site. As I suggested, I don't know why he was still downstairs. Let's give it time. They'll find something. A nade apparently might be the answer here. He is holding an alternative angle. You might get a beautiful view of that. Look at it. Medics, you are a peach of an observer. I love that angle. Katsang getting kayak for free. And I bet he's wondering, how do they know? It's called a drone, my good friend. Coated now getting the plan down to five versus three. Five versus two, sorry. A five versus one. You called a timeout, boys. But something tells me it's going from bad to worse. Last round was a near flawless. What I call a four versus one. And the last remaining one player dies. This one, Jones enough to be exactly. Exactly the same because virtue has got to pull off a miracle. Dan Wonkia right now, Des, are becoming unstoppable. At what point do we stop talking about them as a surprise package and do we start talking about them as potential contenders? So the actual round they've won was a whole team effort. We need to see a bit more coming out of everyone here, Kayak, especially at 0 and 5. This is not the game to be quiet.
Hungry yesterday, top fragging in their game that they won. Today, not really being seen. Down one here, just keeping them against the ropes and not giving them any time to breathe or recover. Time running out here for G2. Kayak gets an important kill onto Yas. It's going to allow him into sight to start putting the diffuser down. Big from Katsang, though. The challenge is going to come in through study. There we go. One, no. Doesn't get the second. Hungry. It's now two versus one. Damn one key a win because G2 can't get the diffuser down, Des. There's more than one way to win a round in Siege. And Sand running through the hourglass will do it just as well as killing everybody on the other team. The opposite way into study whilst the man's in vault. What a little picture we've got ahead of us here. Now then, Citizen, yes, doubles down, gets the nade kill onto Courted, but Rin ultimately able to shut down Virtue whilst this dance of death continues. Yonka looking for the Aruni, knows that she's located hard left. Can he find a kill? No, Rin, how somehow on the reverse angle gets the kill onto Jonka, and once again, Damwon Kia are able to fight and level things up, but Citizen, he catches Rin completely unawares. Knock, knock, who's there? It's Citizen taking G2 into the lead once again, but the gun barrel gives away the Hibana inside of Master. Katsang making the challenge. The shield firmly on the back of the clash at the minute. Needs to be careful. Overextend. Shut oh. down by Kayak. G2 punishing mistakes right now. That's it. Yeah, Woogie left alone here on the Maestro. It's a big ask, one that he will not be able to answer. Citizen on the nook coming up and shutting down. Rin. Confirmation for you. So as sneaky as Citizen thinks he's being right here, but again, getting all excited about what he might be able to achieve. They know exactly where he is and what it is that he's trying to do. The ping does indicate that someone's up there, and surely at this point they know he went for the swing and the shotgun blast comes out. Surprise has been foiled, revealed, but coated. The one who loses out in that exchange whilst upstairs, Yonka goes down. Rin on the jump out. That's the beautiful stuff, but Kayak is there for the trade. Better cover coming out of G2. However, still at least for a few seconds finding themselves in the three versus three until Yonka is put back on his feet. Yas finding Hungry. Could that be it, Tim? I mean, Yonka's going to get rescued here when they're confident they're not being pushed onto, but Citizen's still dangerously low on HP. It's taking time. Yonka's going to come back to 20 HP. So you've got two operators there that can die very quickly inside of a gunfight. Katsang just using that heartbeat scanner. Dan Wonkia have got all the information. Honestly, time is going to become a big factor here. There's 20 seconds. G2 are going to have to rush. And having to rush when you've only got 20, 10 HP in the case of Citizen, that is a recipe for disaster. Selma Charge is going to open the hatch. It's going to come down to a drop. Katsang finds Citizen. That's three versus two. Kayak gives his position away, shut down, it's Dan Juan Kia, it's 7-2, it's G2 eliminated from the Mexico Major, and it's Dan Juan Kia, the first APAC team to buy their ticket to the playoffs, Des, they're going, they've done it, they've got the points locked in, and they will progress from Group C.